Which Mavic 3 is right for you on your farm? If you've got crops, the Mavic 3 Multispectral is great for crop mapping. But if you've got cattle, the Mavic 3 Thermal with 56 times zoom is definitely the way to go. And the coolest of the three, if you want both scouting and mapping, is the Mavic 3 Enterprise. Here's all the details. I've got wings, so I should learn to fly. Fly so high. All right, one of the most common questions we get is which of the Mavic 3s is right for me on the farm? So what we're going to go through is we're going to go through the Mavic 3 Enterprise, the Mavic 3 Multispectral, and the Mavic 3 Thermal. I'll call them M3E, M3M, or M3T for short, or Bert, Ernie, and Rubber Duck. What we're going to do with these is go through the cameras. Ultimately, the drones are all the same. You get a case, come standard with it. In the case, you end up with a drone. You end up with at least three batteries. We sell these in packages with three to six controllers. And this is the beautiful RC Pro. We'll go through that in a second. And then you've got a whole bunch of charging accessories, manuals, extra propellant. Let's go through all three of these drones. The Mavic 3 Enterprise, the Mavic 3 Multispectral, and the Mavic 3 Thermal. Looking at them, you notice one has a big bump in the middle. That's the RTK module. The Mavic 3 Multispectral comes standard with the RTK module. The other two have got a USB-C port on top here where you can add an RTK module to these. It's as simple as turning the two thumb screws, moving it over. It is an $885 addition, so if you know you need high accuracy and drainage elevation, it's worth adding to this. Mavic 3 Thermal would be rare that you would add that kind of a sensor, except for search and rescue purposes. That's the only outward appearance difference except for the cameras. So let's talk about the cameras on these. The Mavic 3 Enterprise has a camera that's got two sensors in it. The top one is for finding things or scouting. It's a 12 megapixel half inch CMOS sensor. That is the magic mapping camera. So it's a global shutter, mechanical shutter, has very little motion blur. This is a survey grade camera. Great for digital elevation modeling and any type of mapping on the farm. It has seven times optical zoom and up to 56 times combined digital and optical zoom together. So that one is your scouting camera. It's amazing for whether you've got livestock or crops for seeing an individual weed or for reading in your tag. The beauty of it is it's got a built-in seven times telephoto and then that can be enhanced further with digital hybrid zoom to up to 56 times. So it's ideal for reading in your tag, for figuring out which weed is which. And the zoom is the beauty of this one and the mapping capability. It's capable of both zoom and mapping. These other two, the Mavic 3 Multispec has the same mapping camera as this one. So you can use it for digital elevation mapping. This one here has the zoom camera as the Mavic 3 Enterprise, but there's none of these that has all three aspects. So the next one is the Mavic 3 Multispectrum. This is what the camera on that one looks like. You've got a wide angle camera in the bottom. It's 20 megapixel, just like the Mavic 3 Enterprise. The top four, obviously, are the different ones. That's multispectral sensors. So you've got four different sensors there. They are green, red, red edge, and near infrared. The individual sensors are all global shutter camera. Image size is 2592 by 1944. They're a one over 2.8 CMOS sensor. And like I said, they're global shutter as well. They're five megapixel. So they're higher in terms of just pure resolution than the top end cameras from Microsense, for example. That doesn't necessarily mean they're better than Microsense, but the resolution is incredibly high. So you can get some fairly good footage from decent altitude as well. So this drone we'll talk a lot about as a companion drone to the Agra series of sprayers, but all three of these are good companions for the Agris as well, depending on what your other needs are on the farm. So again, this one is scouting and mapping. This one does the mapping. It's not so good for scouting because it doesn't have any optical zoom. The camera on this, the wide angle camera, does have an 8x digital zoom, but that gets grainy. So it, this isn't one you're going to use to identify a specific weed out in the middle of the field or read an ear tag, frankly. It is an amazing mapping camera. And then the last one is the Mavic 3 Thermal. And what the Mavic 3 Thermal has on it is all those cameras. There's one that is similar to the others. And that's the zoom camera on here is the same zoom cameras on the Mavic 3 Enterprise. So seven times telephoto on a 12 megapixel half inch CMOS sensor on this. The digital hybrid zoom is up to 56 times. So it's amazing for, again, for reading your tag, identifying a specific weed. 
it does not have that wide angle mapping camera that the Mavic 3 Enterprise and the Mavic 3 Multispectral have. But what it has instead is it's got a thermal camera. The resolution on the thermal, it's a, it's a Vox microbolometer. The resolution is 640 by 512 and that's the same as the Matrice 30 thermal and the Mavic 3 thermal have the same microbolometer on them. So it's great for finding cattle. In some crop scenarios, you would use thermal as well, things like irrigation leaks or even locating drainage tile. This would be a decent drone for that kind of thing. But primarily, this is the drone for cattlemen. So in terms of pairing these with agri sprayers, for example, this would be the one that I'd recommend for most cattlemen because they don't need high elevation accuracy for drainage mapping typically. They wanna go find cattle when they're using this drone for other things. The last camera that's on here is again a wide angle camera. It's 12 megapixel, but with an effect of 48 megapixel, the image size is 8,000 by 6,000 pixels. That one though is an electronic or rolling shutter, not a global shutter. So that shows you kind of the details. You get the sense of what all these different drones will do. Ultimately, this is probably the one for you if you've got cattle. Get the Mavic 3 Thermal. If you're gonna do a lot of mapping and you wanna do variable rate prescriptions, if you're a crops guy or a seed grower, the Mavic 3 Multispectral is the one for you. And if you want to do a little of everything, scouting and mapping, the Mavic 3 Enterprise is the right drone for you. I know that the Mavic 3 Multispectral is always sold as the crop drone, but Multispectral isn't for you unless you're going to do prescriptions or if you're going to do damage assessment. It's great for those kinds of purposes, but the Mavic 3 Enterprise lets you do a little of everything. There you have it. That's the line. Come and see us at farm shows this summer or come out to our shop. You can test fly any of these and we'll show you all the differences. Well, I've got wings, so I should learn to fly.